Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export an event ICAL file. For that, we need to visit our front-end site. So let's go ahead and do that first. From here, we will go to our event dashboard in the front-end side. As you can see, we have a download events ICAL file over here. That's available over here because we installed and activated our events ICAL file. We can click on this button over here that will go ahead and generate an ICAL, ICAL file for us and even download it automatically. So I can go ahead and download this ICAL file by clicking over here. And we're going to open this calendar file in our default calendar provider. That's Windows Calendar in my case. You can even import this calendar into Google Calendar or Apple Calendar. That will work as well. But as of now, let's open this file in our default view. So let me go ahead and open this file with my calendar app over here. And as you can see, when we are importing the ICS file, it says uh, which calendar would you like this event to. So that's calendar feature for this app. That's Microsoft feature and we have all the events over here. So that's our four events that we have available in this website An amazing event and our awesome event and all the other events we have added alongside with our starting date and starting time. And it also handles the uh, ending date as well. So as you see, this an amazing event. It's a one day event that starts on 3.30 and ends at 4.30. So that's being showed as 17th of October 2020 from 3.30 to 4.30. And the next event we have, it's also start at 17th of October 3.30, 20th of October till 5 p.m. So in same format, we have all the other events that respect the starting date and the ending date as well the starting time and ending time. So if we go ahead and add to the calendar, it will go ahead and add these entries to our calendar like this. As you can see, this view for you, depending on your calendar provider, might be different. But for Outlook calendar, it looks like this. As you can see from 17th of October, we have all the events listed over here and they works as intended. So that's the generated ICAL file from our website being imported into an external calendar provider that works flawlessly. So this was a very quick video about how to export ICAL file and import them into an external calendar. Being that said, I'm Shara signing off. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.